Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The topic of my khatra is about the importance of the Quran. And we are all gathered here to show that importance. SubhanAllah, if you see this whole hall, Alhamdulillah, it's filled up. Why is it filled up? It's because we're giving the importance, not just to the Quran, but we're also giving it to the Hamil of the Quran, which are our beloved shuyuk, which are all sitting here, Alhamdulillah. Because even our Prophet ﷺ, he has mentioned that the people of Quran, they're actually the Ahlullah wa khasatu, that these are actually the most beloved people to Allah, and they're the very closest people to Allah. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is always blessing them in their different efforts that happen. So this is why, this is telling us that the Hamid of the Qur'an, the Hafid of the Qur'an, and especially these shayukh that we have here, these are not just ordinary people. Rather, they are very special people. And obviously they have a special maqam, they have a special position and place. Obviously, we cannot take them very high up to consider them to some prophet or some, something like that. But obviously they have a, a different level from an ordinary human being. So that is one thing to note. Another thing, that we talk about the importance of the Qur'an. Our Prophet ﷺ said in a very famous narration that قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم القرآن حجة لك أو عليك أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام Our Prophet ﷺ said that this book that we have, the Qur'an, it can either be an intercessor for you or against you. Now, I don't want to compare the Qur'an to some human being or something like that, but just to give you an analogy so that it's better and it helps us to understand. If you think about a lawyer, right? We're sitting here right on the edge of New Jersey. New York City is right here, George Washington Bridge. You just crossed it, you're in New York, right? All the big lawyers are over there. So the Qur'an, the reason why I'm giving this analogy that it works as a lawyer is because if you analyze and you look around, we have many people who are not native to this country. They actually came the immigration route, right? So their lawyer or their, basically someone helped them so that they were able to come here. Similarly, how are we going to get into Jannah? Quick question. Prophet okay, that's one answer. But obviously, Iman and A'mal Salihat. But if we talk about A'mal Salihat, the very most important part of A'mal Salihat is the Qur'an. Because the Qur'an is not just to be recited just by us. It is also to be understood by us. Understand its translation, its tafsir. And alhamdulillah, these events that we're having, the Qur'an nights, if you literally are following along with the shayukh and the way that they're reciting, the way that they recite, you are actually able to also understand the meaning if you follow along either on your phone or any translation of the Qur'an. And that actually sends down a message to your heart. And that is something that if we are all of us are actually taking care of that and we're actually doing that and we also are making this effort to understand the Qur'an and try to apply however much we can in our daily lives, then that will actually allow all of us to really understand the Qur'an. And obviously, many people, they have this mindset that, oh, we want to make our kids half of the Qur'an, half of the Qur'an. Making a kid a half of the Qur'an is just the stepping stone, right? If that half of the Qur'an is only reciting that book like a parrot, then there is no benefit of that half of the Qur'an. But if you add that half of the Qur'an, and he is also understanding what he is reciting. He knows what the meanings are. He knows what the rules are of Tajweed also. Then that Hafiz will go on to another level and he will be able to benefit all of us who are sitting around here and also his own community as well. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow all of us that we are able to understand the true importance of the Qur'an. We are also able to understand and also give importance not just to the Qur'an but also the Hamid of the Qur'an. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us amongst the Ahl al-Qur'an and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow all of us to read the Qur'an on a regular basis and recite it with the khushu' and also to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.